Okay, this is just a real quick little video on using the PuTTY key generator. Uh, if if you're dealing with uh, servers where, like, say, uh, Vulture or UpCloud or DigitalOcean, if if you're using those type of hosting or those places to host your websites, then you're somewhat familiar with SSH or you're familiar with SSH. You know, with our old shared hosting, we used to most all of us used to use. You'd use an FTP program. You just use your username and your password, and you could get into the back end of your site. And you could delete uh, plugins, delete themes, do some updates that you needed to do. Well, with a lot of these servers, you can't do that. Like in my case, I use Ploy and UpCloud uh, together. Ploy is my management. It deploys my server, say like on UpCloud. I can make changes from ploy and you can have multiple servers and manage multiple sites from there as needed but in order to do that in order to to log into the back end of the site you can't use the old FTP program you have to use SFTP it's just a secured version of FTP but to do that you have to have private keys well that's what the putty key generator does it'll, it'll uh, generate a public key that you need to install on the server and then it'll also generate a private key that you'll use on your SFTP program like what I use with FileZilla. The private key, you have the username and the key in conjunction together in order to SFTP into the back end of your site like we always have done with an FTP program. So it's relatively easy. Just do a Google search and I'll put a link in the in the bottom of the description of the article uh, with a link over to the key generator. It's really easy. You just want to load the program up. Be sure you get the key generator and not the putty program. So let's generate a key. I tell you to move this around in here for some reason. And it generates the public key that you need. And again, that's going to go into the appropriate field on either your server, but in my case, I, I put in an appropriate field where it asks for it at Ploy, because uh, that's where I, the service I use to manage and deploy all my servers. It's Ploy, P-L-O-I. I'll put a link down in the description for that as well. So now we have the public key we're going to use. Now, you're not going to use this specific key in order to put into your SFTP program. You're going to need a private key. So let's now generate a private key. I never put a passphrase or anything with my keys. And the big thing you want to do is remember where you've saved your key because you're going to need it uh, when you uh, open up your SFTP program to load into it so you can log into your server. So let's go ahead and save it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to close the program real quick and reopen it here let's see can I close it from here let's let me uh, just do this okay so now I've cleared out the key now in order let's say because you can do this ahead of time so now there's no key you're like well I, I, I'm getting ready to log into my SF log into my server and now I need that public key because it's asking for it. Where is it? You just go over here to your file and you load uh, the private key. And let's see, here's the key we did, up cloud 12. You're going to open it and now it's going to give you your public key that you need to put into your server or in my case in the appropriate field the public key field with the in the ploy dashboard and that's really it now there's going to be other videos that show you how to do this with your sftp program say like filezilla and how you'll also connect it up with in my case upcloud that is it with this program and believe it or not i couldn't find a video on youtube or and Google and, and that would show me how to do this specific combination where I could you know SFTP into the site. It's easy to do it FTP but it has this little quirk. There's probably some video out there I just couldn't find it. 
so that's it for now and watch and like and share this video and I appreciate you watching